the big dog right here. This is the big dog. We're back with another rat, guys. Two things. I'm under the weather, and my family is asleep. It is 1130 at night, so I'm going to keep my voice to a minimum. Uh, I've got a busy week, um, a busy rest of the week, so I want to get this video out for, a couple, for that reason and also for the reason of my last flop of uh, all makes no misses. Yeah, you guys have been giving it to me in the comments. <laughs> we won't talk about that too much because Billy is one of the elite players in Nashville, seriously, and I got the opportunity to play him and record our match. This is our second lag. The first one was like dead even. So also, one second. <clears throat> also, for all my diehard fans, um, I'm not skipping around in this one. I'm only cutting out the fat around the break. Okay? So when it's time to break, I'll cut the break out. Nobody wants to see us racking balls, and we know how that goes. All right, so like I say, a strike first. I had the lag, and uh, I'm in my red flannel. That red flannel is like Tiger, Tiger Sunday red, baby. So I'm bringing my, my A game. <laughs> that guy on the right of the screen, he's actually a seven as well. So he's a big dog too. All the big dogs are playing right now. Oof. So I hit the one in the side on the break. And I fire at the two ball into the same side. Not looking good on the three. Man, right away, let me shout out Amazing 40s. Um, I got to catch your real name, man, because you made a video. And I'm going to put a link in the description of that video. I did catch the three there. Now, you made a video about um, Happy Speed. You guys go check that out because it is is really good. Like I, I wasn't aware of that concept of a player's happy speed. Like where what speed are you most happy at? And I thought of that when I fired that two ball in the side. <laughs> and you've you've heard me on other uh other videos when I say I fired that in. I love a good firm stroke. So I think my happy speed is probably speed two on this video speed maybe 2.5 or 2.25 maybe speed 3 y'all check it out though it's in the description uh, amazing 40s man great and he comments a lot on the channel so uh, go read what he says it's really good all right Billy misses the three gives me an opportunity for this cut boom looking good Mike looking good Ooh, that's great shape on the four now I got to get down to the five so, and if I can draw this, um, look at that, going low. He's getting low. I think that's what I'm trying to do. Bring that sucker back because there, there's a possible combo with the five to the nine. <laughs> okay, I had more of a cut, more of a cut on that four uh, than I remember. Also, let me say, um, I skimmed through. So the fact that I didn't trim a lot of fat off of this video, um, a lot of these shots are going to come at a surprise to me. The five, looking good, Mike. Kiss on the six. Nobody wants to see that kind of shape. I might have a combo. I might have to try a defense shot. I don't even remember so. Uh, this match, the commentary here is going to be interesting because... This match was actually probably a month ago. This was probably a month ago. So, the shots are new to me, just like they're new to you. Looks like I'm going for the combo. It didn't work. And you leave a guy like Billy at this table, and look at him. Confident. couple of air strokes gets down now one thing I notice about very experienced players is that long bridge well he didn't take it all the way back but they are comfortable bridging up long 
Now, he could have got on the table for that, but <laughs> look at that. That's long, too. Let's see how hard he hits it. He's putting low on it. That was beautiful. That was beautiful. He hit it pretty hard, so I've heard that with the, with the softer hits, you want to bridge up closer to the uh, Q-tip. Great shot on the eight. Great shape on the nine. My heater is coming on. Gonna actually tone that down some because I'm not cold and uh, I don't want to burn up. All right, so like that skip right there. Those are the only skips you're gonna get. We're getting the full metal jacket. <laughs> I remember watching that movie as a kid and being scarred by it. Six and one, uh, eight in the side. Uh, slams the cue on the table because I don't know <laughs> maybe the cue ball's position you never know what skill level nines this guy knows exactly where he wants the cue ball on every shot so you think us skill level fives and fours and threes and twos get frustrated these guys probably get pretty frustrated as well he's got a shot on the three we ain't chopping out none of this. We're going to watch him walk around, take a look. He's trying to see if it clears. And uh, let's watch the master at work. Skill level nine, taking his time. I probably would have shot by now. So that's a really good takeaway from watching a higher ranked player, a higher skill level player. Ooh, now we know why he took his time. <laughs> I didn't even see that. Did you guys see that? <laughs> That's it. Mile marker, seven, seven, probably seven minutes. Go back and, uh, and revisit that. I wasn't looking at that. A carom. Carom off the three to the seven. All right, for you noobs, carom is when you use another ball to bounce off of and hit another ball I think I explained that right you guys can help me out in the comments you're good at that <laughs> alright so he hit the 7 in the 3 is still on the table this is 9 ball so he still has to go for the 3 it looks to be almost frozen maybe frozen I'm curious what he's going to do defense defense and defense didn't work out look at look at me rushing rushing to the scene like a uh, freaking paramedic oh I had good shape there now what are you gonna do here Mike you gonna pull it back again I love the draw somebody made a comment uh, about me favoring draw shots over top I should have hit that harder but that's doable I can't get under it Ideally, I, I would need to draw here to, uh, to hit the five in, come off of that rail. This would be a low left. Ooh, okay, I tried something. Was I hiking up? I wasn't really paying attention to it. I ended up with a nice leave, which is what we say when we leave our opponents uh, in a tough predicament. So he has to hit the five ball right now and uh, I mean he might make this <laughs> the guy's a nine yeah the guy is elite somebody said that he was like in the top ten of uh, players in Tennessee so put some things in perspective who I'm playing right now easy kick let's see how he does it because this is how I start off doing this. I, I line up with uh, parallel, and then I split the cue ball and my object ball. I don't know if he's going to do that or not. But I will swing that butt end of the cue to the middle there. See, I don't know what he's doing. And you can find all this kind of stuff on TikTok. I don't think I'm ever going to be that content creator. Okay, he's kind of shifting. I don't know what he's doing. Hey. 
Let's watch the master. This mic is too low. I need to. There we go. I get a little bit more comfortable. I mean, it's a kick shot, but I don't know how he calculated where to to um to hit the cue ball to. Oh, he wanted to come off the rail to get shape on the nine. That's why. You see the difference in thinking? And you also see that he tried that. He could have just kicked at it. But it might not have... Um, it might... If he would have missed the kick, I might would have had a shot. I had a shot anyway. But... Sorry. But... Um, he played a high-risk shot. That was fascinating to me. Not just a kick, but a double kick to give himself shape on the nine. Gives me that rack. Doesn't matter because nine ball, nine ball in APA is all about points. So, okay, yeah. A weak break, very weak. Oh, two ball did not drop, seven didn't drop. Six is still spinning. Which means I transferred some cue ball spin to the six somehow. Let's watch Billy here. It's Billy Young if you want to look him up on whatever the site is that tells you the rankings and tournament positions. He plays some tournaments here. We've got a Music City Classic. That's a pretty big tournament. Whoa. Okay, he hit it, right? Yeah. He hit the one. He was trying to do something. Excuse me. Oh. All right, I'm getting hot. Uh, my hair is a mess. You know, we're all about authenticity here. So you're just going to look at my dry hair. All right, so he gave me an easy shot on the one. <clears throat> I set up for the easy shot on the two, and I, I hit that too hard. You can see the little frustration and the can of beer walking by me. I used to drink a lot of beer, but now it kind of gives me a headache. I don't drink much beer anymore. I might have a beer here and there. Back to the game. Bottom on the three. I don't know why. I'm going to stun over to the right after I hit it. Maybe I'm trying to get on the four. And I was trying to get on the four, and I scratched. So I think that just comes from inexperience. You know, and another comment, maybe I'll pop it up. Uh, a lot of you guys are telling me, like, dude, where you're drawing the ball, put top on it. Let that sucker roll. And even with that three, if you want to go back, that was... Um, actually, I don't know what timestamps it's going to be because I might put an intro to this video. But, you know, you can double tap on the left side of your screen on YouTube and it'll go back 10 seconds. Go back and see what I could have done. I think I think I could have just put top on that. Maybe I was uh, afraid of the scratch because it might have scratched in that in our bottom right corner there. Soft touch on the combo there so that the three ball will remain. I had to learn that the hard way. I used to hit those combos like at whatever speed and I'm like, oh my God, I didn't set myself up for the next shot at all. Now that's, I would have shaped up for the side maybe or maybe not. Initially here thinking, I was thinking about hitting that three soft enough to hit the, th the four in the side, which is wrong. Putting that cue ball where it is now. I hope my voice isn't annoying. <laughs> <clears throat> I don't even I don't even have water with me. But uh, I want to get this video out. I need y'all to forget about the all makes no misses. <laughs> so I'm giving you a good one to ride to tomorrow. I got to work. I've got to film. Um some country songs at a recording studio tomorrow. I do a lot of behind the scenes filming. So that's a popular thing now. But yeah, he wanted that cue ball there for the four. 
to get easy shape on the five. Five in the corner. Maybe he stuns to the right. I'm not sure of his. Oh, he wants to cut it and use those rails to maybe break that out. I don't know. He's shaking his head. Not sure what you were doing there either, Billy. I thought you were just going to. But see, if he had hit the five in the corner, the only thing he had on the six is a pretty difficult cut. He could have, he could make the cut. But then you have to do one, two, at least two rails. Beautiful defense to get on the eight. So, man, he's thinking just so smart. He's thinking multiple balls ahead. And I try to do that. But the game is just so sophisticated that my mind can't keep up. I can only do a couple balls. I mean, I'm thinking about the eight. With that, with that um, six ball before he did the defense. I mean, I would be thinking about the eight. Where will the cue go if I'm actually trying to make a shot for the eight? But he was thinking about the eight, I think, when he hit the five ball. When he cut the five in the side. So this is the only shot he gave me. I do remember just, like, full sending this. Like, I don't know. Those types of rail shots. Good thing I'm blocking that because... I was nowhere near the six. Nowhere near the six. I remember, man, I'm just going to send this. <laughs> I, I, I didn't know what I was doing there. All right, so. Shape on the six. You know, you beginners, you would probably line that six up. Look at that. Oh, even, even a better uh, topic with a ball in hand. Look at all that he did with that. <laughs> and then he does this. So maybe when he tried to get that eight off the rail by hitting, sending the six into it, maybe he didn't get it off the rail enough. Because now I see that, that shape on the eight, he could have come down to the, uh, <laughs> he could have come down to the nine easily. So these high skill level guys are like probably at least three steps ahead of us. Regular guys, average guys. I think my mic just peaked there. Let me dial this back a little. I didn't think I would be talking this loud. I tried another defense shot. I remember being so frustrated by that one. So mad really put some power on that he knew exactly how the cue ball was going to react I would have been afraid to put power on that thinking I might go over here and scratch in the side but it's Billy Young what's interesting is his uh his stroke arm was a little inside 90 degrees it's a little tight there Billy I'll skip right here or right here am I looking at the game or am I just <laughs> what am I doing all right, here we go. Next rack. Now, I've got to go back through this in my editing software, which I use Premiere Pro. I've got to go back in this and add the score. Every ball that drops in, I got to I got to count that in the overlay. So, um, That was nice. That looked like a really wild break, but look at the result. Never judge somebody on the way they look when they break or stroke. And I have a habit of doing that because I'm trying to get my stroke like technically sound. But when I see other people, even people that I play against, maybe you guys do the same thing. People that I play against, man, I judge you <laughs> based off your stroke. I'm like, look at his stance. He's not even lined up right. I should beat him. His, his chin's not on the stick. I put my chin on the stick sometimes. Look at this. He wants the three in the side. Perfect. This is why this game is so beautiful. That one shot was not just making the one. It was setting up this whole series because look at the five now if he gets on the left side of the five oh yep left side of the five he can stun over 
I, I, actually, I don't know what he's going to do. He's a nine. I'm a five or a six at this point. I was a six. I went down to a five recently. Um, I, he's probably going to use that short rail at the top. Yep. Boom. Do that. Come across. <laughs> I hope y'all are enjoying this as much as I am. I mean, it's going on midnight for me. And I'm all in right now. Beautiful draw. See, this is what you want. Perfect on the nine. You can do anything. You can just hit it however. I mean, don't follow if you're straight on the nine. Here we go. Skip ahead. Billy back on the break. He breaks from where I break from, but he uses the table. I'm closer to that long rail over there. I'm closer to that second diamond. Watch how crazy it is. Watch, watch, watch. Ugh. I mean, that's how he generates power. Looks like the seven ball went in. I didn't even see it. He struck it so hard. Struck the, the rack so hard. So ordinarily, I would skip right here, and he'd be on the one. Nope. 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 We watching all of it. All the misses. All the makes. Trust me. I'm, I'm trying to keep you guys around. <laughs> I mean, that's the other thing with YouTube. I was talking to uh, Amazing 40s. Man, I got to get your name. I was talking to Amazing 40s in, uh, in his comment about all makes no misses and I was saying you know YouTube is a source of income for a lot of people and it would be dope if the work that I put into making content for us to enjoy and us to learn from it'd be dope if I can get paid <laughs> so um, I'm hearing you I hear you oh, that was beautiful beautiful kick you know to me all you gotta do is hit it I mean, I don't know if he tried to hide it behind the six. I don't think so with that kind of power, but you never know. You never know what this guy's practice routine used to be or is now. Um, again, this is probably another Hail Mary. I think I go for the Z shot here between the three and the six. Uh, come off that rail to this rail. And that looks like it's possible. I think I'm putting right. Oh, actually, I would have hit it if it didn't hit the five. That worked. Oh, he said good try. Billy said good try to me. <laughs> it's really, it really was a pleasure to play him. When they put me up against him, I was like, this video is about to be a banger. <laughs> All right, so he already knows what he's going to do. I think he's going to draw stun. Boom. Over here. Ooh. I don't know if it went too far. Maybe, maybe not. Because actually, I would have... I was envisioning the cue ball on the other side of the three and put the three in the corner there. But he's in a better place to play the four and the five. Making it easy for himself. Stop shot. Now, I wonder what he's going to do. Because he has an angle on the four. He's putting top. Nice and smooth. Okay. He saw that he was going to bump off the nine. Sometimes I see that. And if I'm talking too much, man, y'all let me know in the comments. But I don't, I don't want to just post a, a match. <laughs> you don't know me. You don't know him. You're not going to watch that. I want to bring value. One reason why I decided to edit this video this late at night like this morning I posted the all makes um, all makes no misses this very morning so one reason why I wanted to get this up I was watching some YouTube girl talking about growing on YouTube I don't watch those kind of videos a lot but guys if I could share my numbers with you like they're high my impressions are like quarter of a million like 250k that YouTube is showing my video to people. Um, like 85% of the videos go to people's homepage. And some of you in the comments are even saying, man, I found you on my homepage. You were, 
you popped up when I signed in, you know. Um, but anyway, I made this video with urgency because the girl said, you got to provide value. And it clicked. The all makes no misses provides no value. Maybe entertainment value, but it's not that great. So I'm with you. Five ball in the corner. One ball in the side. Two ball. Uh oh. Oh. He's good, but he's got to dig into that pocket to get the two ball. And he may play. Sorry. He may play safe here. Me? I think I would try to go for the two because if I actually make it, I might be on the three. This is just my initial thought. I'm glad I'm doing this video because I'm not aware of. <laughs> I wasn't aware of that burp coming. It's belch. And I'm not aware of how the game goes because it was, like I said, a while ago. I've played probably 20 matches since then. He's taking his time. I'm going to call that defense because look how the balls are both on the diamonds. This is value. There's a uh, James. Yeah. James walking by. That is uh, Jerry chalking up on the other. Is it Jerry? Uh, Weatherman is his last name. I can't remember his first name. He's a six, seven. He's a seven. He's whooped up on me a couple times. Maybe one time. I don't know. Can't remember. Here we go. I think I went for another defense, baby. Sit there. That's fine. But he can uh, certainly bank that all the way back. Yep. I think I uh, went for defense there. He might go for D here. But see, with the ball being close on the rail. Remember the seven ball in my nine ball match that I showed you guys against... Um, Wayne and I put top so he's putting top on here no way he's banking he ain't banking that because that's what we figured out you guys helped me to realize you don't put top on a bank it's just going to go right back into the ball into the object ball and cause you to um, you know double kiss it so he did top there to bring the cue ball all the way back English is always meant intentionally I mean Goes without saying, I guess. Come on, come on, come on. Boom. Oh, he's got to hit a rail now. Did not hit a rail. Ball in hand. If you're new to the game, and I hope you are. And one reason, hope I remember my train of thought. One reason for the all makes no misses. I, I'll admit it. I'm, you know, with those numbers in my impressions, I was wondering if I did a type of um, video that might draw in you know people that aren't like us Billy's on a roll here he will probably run this out and what was I saying though I said I was going to remember my frame of thought and I, it totally left me maybe it'll come back Hang in there, guys. We still got 22-ish minutes. Yep, 22 minutes. Great shape on the seven. What would you do here? I don't know what I would do. I think I would go slow, like a drag. Yep, okay. Oh, man, how did, what spin did he put on that? Ooh, that was beautiful. But what is he going to do for the uh, nine ball? This is just straight draw, right? Yeah, he's low. He seems to be lined up in a way. I'm looking at his facial expressions because a lot of pool players, you can tell what they intended to do by their facial reaction, their their uh, their reaction or expression after the shot. Easy cut for him. Uh-oh. Nope. No scratch. I will rack. We will skip. Here we go. I can't talk about where we are in the uh, with our points, but I know he's a nine. He needs 75 balls to my 38. 38 or 46. 
I don't remember if I played him as a six or a five. But he needs significantly more than I do. Dry break from the nine. That happens. You can watch Shane Van Boney break them dry. You can watch Filler, Gorst, Catchy, all of the guys. Not every break goes, man. That's why I love this game. I wonder if I was trying to carry him off the one into the eight with my cue ball and put the eight in. I don't know what I was trying to do. Because that cut was way too thick for what I was trying to do. So I'll give myself the benefit of the doubt. I was trying to carry him. <laughs> Probably not. take some breaks here and sniff <laughs> clear my throat <clears throat> okay I missed that shot I was away from the desk not a, a miss I, mean, I didn't see it so, looks like he missed the one. This is not a ball in hand. He didn't make contact. You guys saw it. I didn't see it. What am I looking at? I'm trying to bank into the seven. I think. That's why I would point with my stick like that. Let's see what old Mikey has up his sleeve here. Cueing over the nine. My, arm, my forearm is over the nine. Stick is a little jacked up. Definitely a possible shot. Come on, defense. Come on, line up. Yeah. It's good. Um, another commenter um, took note that I'm, I'm picture in picture here. You probably can't see, but I'm jacking up my cue on a normal stroke when it needs to be level needs to be level not this only do that when sorry when um when you have to great defense great defense you see that so you new players if you've watched this far my my average view duration is six minutes guys so the average viewer only watches six minutes of these matches <laughs> that's another reason why I chopped the last one up to death and it almost killed my channel <laughs> but uh yeah a lot of you have already checked out but my real ones are still here you know what I might do for this one um it'll be harder for nine ball but the chapters at the bottom of the keep it in the mic the chapters at the bottom of the video um I might do it in racks or something like that. Rack one, rack two, rack three. Oof, missed it. I remember that because watch. Wasn't even close. That's what uh, Sam said over there. He watched it. I thought it was close. <laughs> Keep up a lot. I tried. Okay. I like that though. You know, um, I love the encouragement. What I like about League, and this will probably be its own separate video. And that's another thing. I'm going to do more content than just commenting pool matches. That wasn't the, that wasn't really the, uh, the plan at first. Um, just being honest the pool matches and the commentary it's just like you know it to me was kind of a filler kind of thing <laughs> not Joshua filler but like filler content I wanted to like do other kinds of videos you know like I'm a filmmaker like I do it for a living and I like setting up shots I like storytelling I like all of that what an incredible shot let me get back to the game Look at him shaking his head. 
You got three points on that. And he still, uh, what's the word? Can't think of a word. He's so, uh, it's not frustrated. It's this something. And you hit it anyway with ease. But he's giving me respect. I mean, maybe he thinks I can run out here. <laughs> we shall see. I know my topics are bouncing around, but it's a long match. It's, man, I got to stop hunching over. I, I didn't want this in the shot, but who cares? It's a long match, and, uh, oh, look at this. See, I had no plan for the five. I could have made that cut right there and possibly come back down for the eight, but I had no plan. I figured, like, definitely put bottom on it. Maybe I didn't even need bottom on that. Mike is blocking my mouth. Not sure how aesthetic that is. Um, do you see that? Gave himself an easy shot. Now, what will he do for the eight? If he hits top, it's going to go one, two rails, and he'll have the eight in the bottom right corner. It looks like he's hitting just a normal stroke. Okay, he goes that way. He put right on it to bring it back to the same corner that I was talking about. I might have put top, and I probably would have <laughs> jacked up the... Uh, Eight ball shot. Ooh, one, two, three, four rails. He probably hit that too hard, maybe. Let's watch him. Watch his face. He doesn't care. He's like, man, this is an easy bank. I've done thousands of these. I'm not going to sweat the over um, overpowered shot. Oh, he went for the cut. You see? Were you thinking bank? Let me know in the comments at uh, mile marker 37. Ugh. I'm going to mute out all the sniffing sounds because <laughs> it's disgusting. Here we go. He changed the side. One, eight. Oh, that was so nice. See how long that eight went up there? I wonder if he, I wonder if he knew that he could get, I don't know if the eight was a wing ball or in the back or whatever. You, know, you just wonder what they know. Which means I need to uh, have him, I should have had him commentate on this. That would have been great. But also I could get him to commentate a match between like me and another skill level five or something. That might be more interesting. But no, I wanna know his thought process Maybe I get to play him again. Maybe I request to play him next time our team plays each other. And ask him, like, man, I need you to commentate this next one. Like, what were you thinking here? That would be some value for us. And imagine, imagine if, um, well, first off, imagine if I got to play Fedor Gorst or Filler and then they commentate the match with me Whoo! I probably wouldn't shoot at all maybe once if I win the lag but but at least we can hear what he's thinking the pros don't do that and maybe that's why you guys like this format so much it's commentary in a different way now those guys what, what's his name uh, JJ uh, I can't think of his name name. His name name. JJ is his name name. Uh, Jeremy Jones. And I don't really know any other commentators by name, but they kind of do that. He needs to put bottom here. See, right now he's just going to ease up on the on the one. That's a dangerous cut there. You got to you gotta strike it hard. All right, let me stop. They do that, and it's a little dry. I don't know. I'm not saying I'm better. But pool commentary as a whole, it's kind of dry. I hope this video doesn't flop because I'm talking too much. You guys let me know in the comments. 
and I know you will. Three ball, greased in the corner. Don't let me know if I need to dial back to talking. <laughs> Honestly, I don't want to be too swayed, you know, in this. Like, I'm making the content for us, but I gotta want to, I gotta want to make the content. You know what I mean? Otherwise, I won't do it. I mean, I'm, I got other things to do. Like, play pool five nights a week. But no, I got kids, I got a wife, I got family, I got work. That's very demanding. I'm just going to do what feels natural. Now, I do remember this because I was looking to cut all the um, racks. But yeah, he gave me that one. So that's two points to you, boy. My break off the rail. I should have moved over to the left a little and did it off the table. I'm gonna try to break from the table. Look at this, my breaks are just, they're so bad. I'm not being hard on myself, but they're so different than Billy's. Oh, I got this hangnail that is just killing me. Bite my hangnail while Billy chalks up. And I apologize, but I didn't want to wait. We were not going to wait. I've got to go out of town this weekend, but I'm going to Birmingham. That's my hometown, Birmingham, Alabama. Birmingham has, look at that carom. I didn't see that. I thought he could just cut the one in. But perhaps he was trying to get shape on the two, which he really didn't because the two doesn't go down in those two corners from here. But maybe, uh, yeah, I got to get him to commentate. Maybe he was just like spraying and praying, you know. Let me carom off the seven to send the seven into the two. Now he's taking his time. Combo on the six. <laughs> Sorry, excuse me. A th super thin cut on the two. It's like bottom outside. Oh, he tried to make the two. Okay, oh, look at that. Kiss off the nine, the four kiss off the nine. Four goes in the corner. Two balls wide open down there. Two ball. Did I say cue ball? Two balls wide open. Cue ball is about two inches off the rail. This doesn't matter to him. He's hitting down on it. He wants to bring it up here for the five. Looks like he's got a bank. You think sometimes like that shot there the two I mean of course he could have just made the two and he wouldn't have had a, a shot on the five maybe the two ball was straight in it's hard to tell from this angle until I can get a GoPro at the top of the table we just got to deal with this angle <laughs> bank shot but he wanted to get up here otherwise he wouldn't have had this bank oh five okay Got me all blocked up. I wonder also, because it's a league and he's such an elite player, I wonder if he gets bored. You know, even I get bored when I play. I'm probably bored now because I'm playing Billy. <laughs> I'm watching. I'm racking for Billy. I don't know how many points I, I had at this point or even at the end of the game. Hopefully hopefully I didn't just give it away. But you know I'm not going to win this. This is for value. This is for educational purposes. <laughs> Your boy ain't winning this one. Now Billy has lost. 
Um, there's a girl on my team who is a two in nine ball. Oh, 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 look at my face. I'm trying to hold it together. Oh, there's a smile. <laughs> that was nice. I definitely didn't intend that to happen, but I did want to kick at it and lucky roll, baby. I'll take it. I'll definitely take it against Billy. Six in the side, maybe? Looks like the easier shot. Oh, I went for the corner to leave the cue for the seven in the side, which is the right pattern, but I hit that too hard. Ended up with a lucky uh, leave. Nine balls blocking the six. You guys can see. And my commentary is going to get better, too. I'm talking a lot about the channel during this match because I'm coming off of a lot of negative I wouldn't even say negative comments a lot of um, constructive criticism so um, yeah just looking for the kick shot this could go in if he hits it right I don't remember if it does I hit an incredible, oh, he hit the seven. I hit a kick shot on the six last night uh, in nine ball. I recorded it. You'll see it at some point. I kicked it and it went in. It was, it was nice. All right, so I set it up here, ball in hand, to top spin roll to the seven. Now, how I'm going to get on the eight, I don't know. Definitely wanted an angle. So I can come off of that rail that's next to the seven. Putting bottom on again. <laughs> you guys know I like that. Oh, nice and, nice and smooth. Okay, that works. That works, Mike. Eight in the corner. I'm trying to see what I'm going to do because even now looking at it, I'm thinking, what am I going to do? It doesn't look straight on. So I could go one, two rails and end up putting the nine ball in the top left corner so let's see if I see what I do speed is speed control here is this a speed too no no it ain't, it ain't gonna be it oh it might be because it's a force follow and look at that I hit it a little hard but that was I thought it would be two rails but I guess I misjudged the uh, the angle there from this angle um Force follow. I had to hit it hard enough to run that cue ball into the rail to get it back up for the night. I, I closed out a rack, y'all. How about that? Billy is racking. Okay, this is the last rack. As you can see, the timer is nearing its end. I uh, yelled out in frustration because that was a scratch on the break. And with this being the last rack, Billy only needs a few more points, a few more balls. Um, I'll go ahead and begin my close. Thank you guys for all the comments. I think um, the comments is what's really is that it? I don't know. He has a three ball. I think it's one more ball. One or two. The comments is what really gets keeps me going here. Um, I appreciate you guys so much. And uh, I will see you in the next one. I'll rack them up. It's your break. Hope you enjoyed the long uncut. Not technically, but uh, somewhat of an uncut version of a nine ball APA match, skill level nine versus five or six. Can't remember. Um, he had a lot more balls than I thought. Let me look at this. We got one minute left. Easy seven. That's it. They said that's it, Billy. All right, we shake hands. My man giving us the dap. He knows the handshake. 
And look, he shows me a little something here, here too. So Billy's a good guy. Uh, look him up, Billy Young, skill level nine, high ranked in Tennessee. He's showing me something that I did. Um, and I appreciate that. Anyway, I'll let you guys get on to the next video. Appreciate you. I really do. Leave me some comments. Let's have a conversation. Build this community. See you in the next one.